Hello to everyone. I'm a self-taught nail tech and I do my nails at home. I use my own hand as a practice hand. And so at this point, I already prepped my nail beds. I already added my top gel, I buff, and then added my nail tips. So basically what I do first is I make sure that my nail, um, my acrylic brush is nice and clean. And um, my goal for today was is just trying to get a, a one bead method. Um, so I was just trying to get um, as closest to the cuticle as possible, but um, nicely clean. So basically that is gonna be my goal. So my beads were a little watery and um, it did take me longer than usual, but um, that's my goal, just basically to um, start from the cuticle area and then um, just try and get bigger beads. But um, I noticed that I'm just basically gonna need a bigger brush. So that's why I speeded up the video. Um, it took me a little bit longer than usual and I wanted to get through the video fast. I didn't wanna keep you guys here forever. So I basically just um, added my Glam & Glitz acrylic green powder. Then after that, I went ahead and added a clear acrylic powder from Mia Secret just to seal the color in. And then that way when I go ahead and um, file i don't file off the color because that's happened to me before so if you're doing any color acrylic just um you know you don't have to but you can try and seal it with a clear acrylic so you don't just file off the colored acrylic So um, I guess my goal is just to use my um, bigger brush. The biggest brush I have is a number 14 and I'm probably going to be using that for these long nails just to get a bigger bead and then start from the cuticle area and then just go all the way down to see a, you know as far as I can go and then just keep practicing. So that is basically my goal. So another one of my goal is just to get um, when I'm done laying down my acrylic and it's time to file down with my e-file, it's hard for me to get down um, near the um, cuticle area and just trying to conceal that part so there won't be any lifting. And um, I noticed that it takes a bit longer with the uh, drill bits that I have. So that's another one of my goals. Just, you know, it's basically all that area just I'm trying to get a better and cleaner and faster um, you know results Because um, you know, that's basically the main part just around the cuticle area. You got to make sure you lay the acrylic um, clean and then you got to make sure you um, E-file when you're done and leave it nice and neat and make sure that part doesn't lift And um, I've also been working on my um, you know speed like I'm timing myself now so um, when I e-file, I'm also having it, at a f having it at a faster range, so I'm like challenging myself and just trying to get better so I won't just stay at the same level all the time. So at this point, I was already um, frustrated because I really, really wanted to, you know, get a one-time bead um, near the cuticle area, but I should have just changed brush, but then I realized that my, you know, biggest brush is is dirty. It has acrylic all over it, so I'm just gonna have to clean it and then, um, and you know, just try to do the same thing again.
so I was already very frustrated because my beads were very wet and um, I just wanted to finish
So you guys, I was finally done and I was happy, but I still needed to file. And every time I'm done, like as soon as I'm done, I clean my brush because like I said, the acrylic like dries super fast and you gotta clean it right away. Especially with this Mia Secret acrylic, I don't know um, what the deal is with that, but it like gets in between the bristles all the time. Like, and then um, I also noticed that I have to wet my brush so there won't be any like white lines. So then after I'm done, I just grab my hand file and I start shaping my nails. So after I'm done with my using my hand file, I go ahead and grab this e-file and um, you can find all of these items that I use. I always leave like the name brands around so you can um, search it up on Amazon and I like um, purchasing my stuff there because I always know I'm going to, you know, receive my packages. So, um, so I just recently purchased this drill bit and extra, it's an extra fine drill bit and it works good but um, there's not really much of a difference between this one and the sanding band that I was using so um, I guess what I'm looking for is just a, a drill bit that gets closer to the cuticle area so there won't be any lifting. So after I'm done um, using the e-file, I go ahead and um, reshape my nail again with my hand file just so I can get a better shape. So then I just go ahead and do the same steps um, on all my nails to like complete my desired shape. I'm also working at a faster speed um, with my um, e-file so um, that's another thing that I'm trying to get better at just so I can finish faster. Um, 
so yeah basically that's those are my goals and like i said you just gotta um, try to push yourself so you won't stay at the same level
so that I just wipe all that dust off. I don't like washing my hands because it, it leaves the nails um, super like uh, sticky. And then I use my drizzle mat that I just recently purchased from Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper than, I mean, it's a little bit more than um, Modelones. I usually would get Modelones um, top gel and um, the mat. It's only like two more dollars extra, so. And I like it a little better because um, it doesn't leave gaps like with, um, what is it, Modelones? It would sometimes leave gaps and you could see parts that weren't like matte. So, um, you know, I, I do like this um, drizzle mat. So then I also just purchased these charms from Amazon and um, I like the price. I believe it was like $13 for 120 pieces, which is good because I was in a too sure what I wanted to get. Um, I wanted to get um, like gummy bears, but those were like $6.99 for like 20 or 60. And then I wanted to get some lollipops, but they were like about the same price. So these were all mixed and I thought it was a good price. So this um, Valentino rhinestone um, gel I purchased from Opera at a discount price. Um, I didn't um, pull the charms on. I literally, when I was done, I took my daughter a bath, and that one popped like right off. I didn't even notice it. It was like it came off till later, but I realized that um, that doesn't work for these charms. It does hold your rhinestones on place, but it doesn't hold these. So I'm gonna have to find a better glue for these. So if you know, let me know. So I was basically just having the time of my life trying to um, figure out which ones I wanted on, you know, which finger and, um, you know, once I added that um, gel, I added the charm and then I cured it. So I hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. and. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just, you know, ask me or, you know, comment below. But all of my items, I always try to, you know, buy them from Amazon because, like I said, I need to make sure that my items arrive, you know, because I've heard of people buying from small businesses and sometimes, you know, the items don't arrive and I don't want that to happen to me. But for now, I need to save and um, spend my money wisely.